Hi, Gemini. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of May 23rd, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, comment on them so I get to know who you are. Let me know where you're from. I great love hearing from you guys. Okay, so the focus here, Gemini, is on what you need to know for the week of May 23rd. For that entire week. Let's jump into this. See what we have. All right, Gemini, your first card up. You've got justice. Another sign had it too. Justice in your favor. Now, this could be the signing of a large lease and or document. And let me say now, you remember you're still in the retro, that time frame of the unexpected up through June 2nd. So if you're signing something or buying something, be sure you read the fine print there, but this is in your favor. Five of Earth coming in with a spiritual as well as a financial blessing. Something coming in to, to cover what you need with the Hermit card. Love this energy. The Hermit says you guys are on the right path, meaning you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being. Uh, for whatever reason, now remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates for you and leave other messages for someone else, but the month of September is going to be very prominent for my Geminis. I don't know why, it just jumped out, so we're sharing it with you. Okay, you have the Ace of Earth. Ace of Earth means you're under a new beginning, and your new beginning has to do with your finances, financial stability, rebuilding, new start, and finances. Okay, and we have the Four of Fire relationship card here. Okay, so with that in the center of your reading, it does tell me that if you are coupled or, you know, in a relationship, you're actually ascending to another level, living together, commitments, wedding vows, engagements, things of that nature. But if I've got single Geminis out there, someone is seeking a relationship with you. Okay, so let's see how this is going to unfold. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, financial independence. Things are going your way. Like I said, I think this is beautiful energy that we've got um, the money, the home life, everything. The new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, financially secure. That's what I'm seeing. And the Sun card, this means the Sun is shining brightly on all that you do. And we have the Queen of Air. Now, you may be dealing with someone who's a little bit catty, someone with a sharp tongue. I don't see a confrontation. I want to throw that out there. Uh, for some of you, a Virgo may or may not resonate, uh, but you're dealing with someone that may have a bit of a sharp tongue, but however, also has some words of wisdom for you or is going to enlighten you or confirm something that you have suspected. Okay. Then we have the messenger of water. Okay. This is an unexpected offer of love. Now, when I speak of love on a general reading, this could be in couples, an offer of love. It could be for singles. It could also be for the love of family and or friends, okay? So let's go further with these messages. Some beautiful energy you're working with consider we're under the retro chaos. Let's see what we have here, Gemini. We have, who the death card energy. It's going to be emotional. This is talking about endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. Okay. Um, this is one door closes and one door opens and it all happens at one time. So it's going to be just that. It's going to be emotional for you. We have the Seven of Swords, a warning card. Someone is straight up lying to you, Gemini. That is the card of lies and deception. So you will know someone is straight up lying to you. On the Hermit, we have the Page of Wands coming in. Uh, Sagittarius Energy. This is a messenger card. The message is judgment. Now, this is generally I would tell you don't pass judgment on someone. With someone lying to you, I'm telling you I need you to judge and look at who's in your immediate circle. There's someone there that is shady. Point blank and simple. Then we have the Eight of Cups, also another divine timing card here. Um, and what this means is there is someone or something that no longer serves a purpose to you and you're walking away from, you're closing the door, just like that death card energy, you're closing the door on that situation. 
we have the Six of Cups. So Gemini, before you're ready to shoot the messenger, you're getting ready to reconnect with someone from your past. This is someone you are delighted and thrilled to hear from. So if your immediate thought was, Jackie, I don't want to reconnect with that person, it's not that person, okay? This is someone you're very pleased to reconnect with. Then we have, look at there, I cannot make this up. The sun, clarifying the sun. Sun shines brightly on all that you do. You're golden. You're golden, Gemini. And on the Queen of Air, we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands tells me you're waiting for your ship to come in. I think it's in sight, but it hasn't landed yet. Okay. On the Messenger of Water, there it is. This is the happily ever after. If I've got single Geminis out there, let me say this. You're not going to be single much longer. That's for certain. Uh, this is also a relationship card and everything good and everything you're going your way. Your bonus card, look at there. Explosion of the Eight of Wands. This is total happiness, total contentment with love arrows flying around. Bottom line, it is a period of maybe closures, reversing things, and obviously the sunshine will offer to you. So, you guys are week ahead jackiechalman.com if you're seeking the psychic reading i'll see you soon bye